Hello everyone and welcome to Tusser Show. And right now we are going to look at the Xbox Game Xbox Game Pass Ultimate. And I don't know why I suddenly stop and cannot say the thing, but yeah, overall we're gonna see the Xbox Game Pass Ultimate subscription service that you can have with Microsoft. So right now you will see on the screen the Xbox app and that Xbox app is where you can see most of the games that you can play on PC at least. I know that there's a version on Xbox One and that you can also use as well but since I don't have an Xbox One or since I don't have also the, the latest Xbox whatever the name it is I can only play with a Game Pass for PC. Know that there's two versions of a subscription system if you have a PC. Yeah, there is the Xbox Game Pass for PC. In this case, you will not get the Xbox, the Xbox Gold. So what I mean by that is that Xbox Gold, which has certain perks of giving you games per month, you will not get them. And that is why I decided to do the Ultimate, because I not only have some Xbox 360 games that I got with Xbox Gold for like a very long time, but also because I wanted to keep that perk. So here it is, with the Xbox Game Pass Ultimate, we're going to see a little bit what you have on the app, but also what is the uh, list of games that is currently there for February 2021. When I actually recorded that video, it was February 15, 15, 1, 5, 2021. I may not have this on my channel up until a certain time. So here you can see that it starts with a carousel where you can see like that with perks that you can claim. That is kind of like one of the latest games that they added, Final Fantasy XII, The Zodiac Age. Uh, Ark Survival and, and so forth. So now you would see also on the left side that I have some things that... Oh, sh sorry, this is uh, um, going back. If you click on the Xbox logo that is up there, you will see that it brings you back to the home page. But you will see as well that you have... You can collapse or open this left side navigation where you see that right now I did download and download and install three games World of Horror which is actually leaving tomorrow on 216 and I'm gonna show you how you can see that well apart from the living game person the Dark Crystal Edge of Resistance Tactics which I did a video that may not be yet on the channel but I did one same thing for World of Horror and last, tell me why, which I think at the time that I'm recording this, you may have seen only two chapter game preview, but I actually finished the game uh, just a few days ago. Anyway, so you can see that the games that you install will be here. You can uninstall them, you can launch them and, and so forth. You can move to tab, create this tab shortcut, view details, launch game or uninstall the game. So for example here, if I want to tell me why to be moved at the top, I could do that. Yeah, you cannot move, you cannot drag and drop them, so... Anyway, now on the home page you will see that this all games, my subscription, perks and mobile. So if... But we, we're gonna continue down first. You will see that this all the recently added that were added here. So Final Fantasy XII, Zodiac Age, Project Winter, Ghost of a Tale and so forth. The most popular one, the ones that are being downloaded the most or played the most. Xbox Play Anywhere, which is a service that they added not that long ago, where if you go on your mobile version of the Xbox app, you can actually play the games on mobile. It's like a cloud service uh, streaming system. Then you will see that you can be surprised and I guess you get a random game from the list leaving soon 
which shows that World of Horror, for example, is leaving tomorrow, to 16, 2021. Vembrace also leaving on March 1st. Mother Russia Bleeds, and Oxen Free, and Momodora. And here you can see all the PC games that are included with Xbox Game Pass PC. And then you can also browse by jar about genre to make sure that you can find what, whatever you prefer. So now if I go up and I click all games, it will bring me to the list of all the games. I'm gonna sort them from A to Z and you will see that there's, a, there's just a list here available to you. If you so if you stay on it you can see some videos video preview. If you click on it, you will see that you can either install or buy if you want to buy them. It gives you like the publisher, the type of game it is, a rating, and so forth. You can really wish list wish list the game if you want to push it it eventually. A little bit more description, waste playable on, so this one is only on PC. Uh, if it's multiplayer, if it's online, not online, and so forth. And you see if you face add-ons that you can buy and some related games that you may want to buy as well. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go back on the title here and what we... I'm going to show you the list as of February 15th, 2021. So you have a black, a black tail innocence, Age of Empires Definitive Edition, Age of Empires 2 Definitive Edition, Age of Empires 3 Definitive Edition, Alan Wake, Alien Isolation, Alvastia Chronicles, Among Us, Ape Out, Ark Survival Evolve Explorers Edition, Astrologaster, Astronia, Battle Chasers Night War, Battle Fleet Gothic Armada 2, Battle Tech, Battle Toads, Battle Toads, which obviously like it's a remake of a very old Battle Toads that used to be like on, on, on all the consoles, Blair Witch. Bleeding Age, Bloodstained Ritual of the Night, Bridge Constructor Portal, Broforce, Call of the Sea, Karyan, Carto, Celeste, which as you can see I own because I have it outside of the uh, Xbox Game Pass. Children of Morta. City Skylines. Cluster Truck. Comanche. Company of Heroes 2 Complete Edition. I assume. <laughs> so if you click on this, you can see like the, the details. Um, I will see if so how oh, they do give the size also like of how heavy it is to actually install on your con on your computer control standard edition crackdown free cross code crossing souls crusader kings free cyber shadow darksiders genesis Day of It Tentacle Remastered, Day by Daylight, Dead Cells, Deep Rook Galactic, Delivers the Moon, Descenders, Desperados 3, Disgaea 4 Complete Plus, Dishonored 2, Disneyland Adventures, don't Starve Giant Edition Donut County Doom Eternal Standard Edition Double Kick Heroes 
done well. Dragon Quest XI S because of an elusive age, definitive edition. <laughs> oh, I wanted to actually go back on this. In this one, you will see that it plays on PC, Xbox One, and Xbox Series X or S. Series X or S. So that's the interesting thing with a Game Pass is that you have different games depending on whether you're on PC or not. I do not know all the games that are on the non-PC version, so basically the Xbox version, so I'm not going to talk about those, just the PC one. Uh, Drake Hollow, Dungeon of the Endless, East Shade, Endless Legion, Endless Space 2 Deluxe Edition, Enter the Gungeon, Europa Universalis 4, F1 2019, Fallout 76, Final Fantasy 9, Final Fantasy 7 Windows Edition, Final Fantasy 8 Remastered Edition, Final Fantasy 12 The Zodiac Age, Five Nights at Freddy's, Five Nights at Freddy's 2, Five Nights at Freddy's 3, Five Nights at Freddy's 4, Five Nights at Freddy's 1 to 4, which the original series, which I guess we'll get all of them in one. For the King, For Rager, For Rager, For Rager, I don't know. <laughs> Forza Horizon 4 Standard Edition, Forza Motorsport 7, Frostpunk, Full Throttle Remastered, Gato Roboto, Gears 5 Game of the Year Edition, Gears of War 4, Gears of War Ultimate Edition, Gears Tactics, Ghost of a Tale, Good Simulator, Sorry, I was looking back at Gears of War because I, I swore that they were all the Gears of War and not just the first and the fourth one and the fifth one. I don't see the two and three. Anyway. Ghost of a Tale. Good Simulator. Golf with your friends. Gunner 2. Greed Fall. Grim Fandango Remastered Grounded Guacamele 2 Halo 2 Anniversary Halo 3 Halo 3 ODST Halo 4 Halo Wars 2 Halo Wars 2 Standard Edition I don't know why these two different versions I guess one may work only at certain places, whereas the other one may be on more. Halo Wars Definitive Edition. Halo Combat Evolved Anniversary. Halo Reach. Halo Spartan Assault. Halo Spartan Strike. Halo The Master Chief Collection. Heaven. Hearts of Iron 4 Cadet Edition. Heath Ho. Hellblade, Senua's Sacrifice, Senua's Sacrifice, Hello Neighbor, Hollow Knight, Hotline Miami, Human Fall Flat, Hyperdart, Hypnospace Outlaw, I Can Fail, Injustice 2, It Lurks Below, Katana Zero Cafe Rain Cafe Rain Killer Instinct Definitive Edition Night Sense Bikes Level Head Lonely Mountains Down Here Machinarium Marvel vs. Capcom, Capcom Infinite Make Warrior 5 Mercenaries 
Microsoft Flight Simulator, Middle Earth Shadow of War, Minecraft Dungeons, Mistover, Momodora with Re Under the Moon, but Moonlight, Under the Moonlight. But you know that this one will be out in March 1st. Monster Sanctuary, Monster Train, Moonlighter, Mark Red, Mother Russia Bleeds, and same thing, it's gonna be out in March 1st, 2021. MotoGP20, Mountain Blade Warband, Moving Out, My Time at Porsche, Neon Abyss, Neoverse, New Super Lucky Tale, Night Call, Night in the Woods, No Man's Sky, Nowhere Prophet, Observation, Ori and the Blind Forest Definitive Edition, Ori and the Wheel of the Wisps, Out of the Park Baseball 21, Overcooked 2, Oxen Free, who is living in March 1st, 2021. Pandemic the Board Game. Phoenix Point. Pikuniku. Pillars of Her. Uh, uh, sorry, Pillars of Eternity, Hero Edition. Pleby Quest, The Crusades. Power Rangers, Battle for the Grid. P Prison Architect. Project Winter. Rage 2, Recall, Resident Evil 7, Biohazard, Rise of Nations, Extended Edition, River City Girls, Rush, a Disney Pizza, Pixar Adventure, Scorchbringer, Sea of Thieves, Shadow Warrior 2, Slave Aspire, Spirit, uh, Spirit Fairer, Star Renegades, Starbound, State of Decay 2 Juggernaut Edition, Stellaris, Stranger Things Free the Game, Streets of Rage 4, Streets of Rogue, Subnautica, Sunset of a Drive, Super Lucky Tale, Surviving Mars, Tales of Esperia Definitive Edition, Tell Me Why Chapter 1 to 3, Tetris Effect Connected, The Bart's Tale Action RPG Remastered Edition, I guess, The Bart's Tale 4 Director's Cut, The Bart's Tale Trilogy, The Dark Age Age of Resistance, Tactics, The Dark Pictures Anthology, Man of Medan, The Falconeer, The Gardens Between, The Long Dark, The Medium, The Messenger, The Outer Worlds, the Search 2 The Swords of Tito Marmos Curse I guess Yeah, Marmos Curse The Tourist The Yakuza Remastered Collection Thumper Torment Tides of Numenera Totally Accurate Battle Simulator To Hold Luna Nights, Trailmakers, Transim World 2020, Two Point Hospital, Undermine, Unruly Heroes, Unto the End, VA11 Hell 1 Cyberpunk Bart and uh, Action. Some brands called Soul, which will disappear in 3 1 2021. 
Void Bastards, War Groove, Wasteland 2 Director's Cut, Wasteland 3, Wasteland Remastered, A We Happy Few, West of Dead, What Remains of Eddie Finch, Wilmot's Warehouse, Wizard of Legend, Wolfenstein's Young Blood, World of Horror, which gonna live in the 216 2021, Where Was He, Worms WMD, Xeno Crisis, Yakuza Zero, Yakuza 3 Remastered, Yakuza 4 Remastered, Yakuza 5 Remastered, Yakuza Kiwami 2, Kiwami 2, Yakuza Kiwami, Yes You Grace, YIIK, a postmodern RPG, Yukai Laylee and the Impossible Lair, Zoo Tycoon Ultimate Animal Collection. So fun fact with some of those games by the way that I wanted to promote is that once you have some of them, most have achievements. So you can see here that there's achievements that you can collect and those achievements work with your Xbox uh, profile in a way. So you can see my Xbox profile here. If I go to tell me why, you can see that right now I have a gamer score of 1400 out of 1500. I have only two achievements that I did not do yet. That I'll probably gonna do by this week. Uh, 28 achievements. And you can see the ones that I have versus not have. I need to be careful to not actually show some of those so you're not getting, uh, sorry, you're not getting spoiled because there's some spoilers in here. But yeah, those two are the ones that I don't have yet. Uh, if I look at the Dark Crystal Age of Resistance Tactics, you will see that this one, for example, do not have achievements. It works only on PC, whereas we tell me why when we looked at it. Not only it has achievements, but it works on Xbox One and Xbox Series X or S. And Cloud is enabled, meaning that you save your when you save, it's actually saved on the cloud, which is good. And that's about it. If you look at the rest, social is just social. You can talk with people and so forth. And the store is the store where you can buy some things. Uh, one new thing that they did that I actually didn't show, but it's hard to show from time to time, is this. So if you go back to the home page. You can see that unfortunately the app has some little difficulties from time to time. It used to be a beta app I think at the beginning and then uh, just became a, an app maybe by the end of last year. But if I click on Final Fantasy XII is a decade right now here I can see like more information super fast but I can also do other things here which is adding it to the play later list. and see the achievements. So, and if I go to my collection, you will see, if I'm not wrong, you will see all the added play later that I have and all the games that I have as well. And apparently you can manage in store. Dark Crystals is 4.7 Giga, for example. Anyway, you can see here that there is an update system and all that. And that's about it. I just wanted to show you a little bit of the Xbox Game Pass. I think that right now the Game Boy Xbox has a pretty good collection of games. 
the things that is the trickiest with it is that games are leaving pretty fast. So there's a lot of well, there's a good amount of games that unfortunately have to leave every single month. Then, but obviously they had new one. But it's a bit of a bummer because sometimes it means that you have to finish some of those games a little bit fast. So do not forget about that. But in general, it's pretty st stable in terms of most of the game because, for example, a black a black tail in Osans was there for like forever now, and all the games that are from Microsoft will be there. So if you worried about things like Halo or Gears of War or Ori or things like Battletoads and all of that, I, I don't think there will be any problem with those. I'm very excited to see what's gonna happen soon now that Microsoft owned Bethesda. My hope is that most of the Bethesda will pop up here. You can see that there were some of them, but for example there's no Elder Scrolls and stuff like that. So it will be very interesting to see uh, what's gonna happen thanks to that. And that's about it. I hope that this video was at least a little bit instructive on what exists on Xbox Game Pass for PC slash Ultimate. And I will talk to all of you soon. Thank you so much for watching. Bye bye.